in the fourth quarter where the team was down by five and the starters were in the game. How impressed were you down the stretch with how the team closed out the game and got the first one of the season? Uh, very impressed. I mean, um, <laughs> we were kind of in and out of the game throughout the game. We had our highs and our lows and um, keeping our composure and, and fighting back and dealing with adversity and all of those things uh, we did tonight and we came up with a win. I mean, James obviously was great down the stretch. P.J. Tucker made some huge plays down the stretch. Christian, I mean, everybody, that last group was really, really good. John Wall, um, obviously. So uh, it was just a grind it out, tough, find a way to win game. And uh, luckily we have the players that are able to do it. Cody Davis. Hey, coach, congrats on your first win. Um, can you talk about this, um, DeMarcus Cousins' skill set as a playmaker? Um, there was a couple of times throughout this game we was able to see him actually find um, his, his teammates and stuff, and just how much of it as an advantage it is to have a big to, who can be able to see the floor just as well as Harden and, and Wall. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. It's huge to have him out there being able to – stretch the defense and make threes as he made one tonight, but also, you know, get his teammates involved because he draws so much attention, whether he's in the paint or on the perimeter. So for him to have three assists and, and uh, make, make some big plays for other guys really is a testament to him and his versatility. Jonathan Fagan. After kind of a ragged start, how did you feel the defense came around? Um, it was ragged. <laughs> uh, we had we had our ups and downs, but I think down the stretch of the of the game, we came up with some big stops. You know, like so when we were down five and, and we needed stop after stop after stop, we were getting those stops. And um, you know, it's a it's a we're a work in progress, as as I keep continuing to say. We haven't been together long. We haven't um, really had a bunch of practice time to get all of our defensive concepts together. And we've kind of gone back and forth between switching and not switching. And the switching part, we have guys who are comfortable with, but other guys who have, weren't here last year who aren't necessarily so comfortable with it. And then we have the part where we're playing a little bit more traditional. And, um, you know, everybody's kind of trying to get used to that. So it's a work in progress. We're going to be – fine defensively is I tell the guys as long as we are working and trying hard and, and playing hard through some of the mistakes that we're making we'll get better and better and better was there some improvement to just staying in front of your guy cutting off the dribble drives yeah I mean part of it you know PJ was great and as far as keeping his man in front of him John Wall did a very good job keeping his man in front of him and <clears throat> excuse me we just have to have a good feel for our help and where our help is coming from and, and limiting those uh, those opportunities. As you see, they have, what is that, 58 points in the paint. So that's way too many. Thank you. Zach Gallen. Hey, Coach, a great win. But how did you like how John Wall and James Harden were able to lead uh, towards the end of the game and able to bring this team to your first victory as a head coach? It was great. <coughs> Excuse me. As <coughs> Excuse me. As you know, um, they haven't been together and we're still trying to figure it out who has it and who's playing off, off the ball some. And they're kind of figuring it out on their own with my help. And for both guys to have. So John had nine assists. Uh, James had eight assists. And um, they both were obviously good scoring the basketball. So that's a relationship that just has to grow and get better and better. And, and I have to make sure that I'm doing things that they can both play to, play to their best and play to their strengths. Matt Musel. Stephen, what was that like uh, going through the first two games and then seeing all that firepower tonight? <laughs> it was great. Offensively. Yeah, it was great. It was great. I mean, much more, many more options. I think we saw we were a little bit more organized offensively. We had more things to go to, more tools in our toolbox, so to speak. And, um, you know, e even with that, 
probably one of the <clears throat> best players of the game today was PJ, and he didn't even take a shot, <laughs> you know. So um, it's just good to have the whole group on the floor, and we have to build. And we're playing every other day coming up, so the preparation part has to be via film and walkthroughs and that sort of thing. But um, we got to come together, and, and it's good that everybody got a piece of it tonight. Ben DeVos. Coach, how big psychologically was this win? Because I know it's just one regular season game, but you had all the upheaval in training camp. And then if you had started 0-3, you were down, what, five, six points with five minutes to go. So dig down deep, get the win, avoid starting 0-3. How big is that from a confidence perspective? It's huge. It's huge. I mean, you try to say every day, you just kind of kind of keep the same mentality and, and uh, keep this – keep kind of grinding away in, in, a, in a way that you can't really tell whether you're winning or losing. But to have gone 0-3, even though we were shorthanded in those first two games, we really wanted to put it put a good game together. Number one for our home, our home crowd and, and uh, our home, you know, being at home in front of people and uh, it being our uh, first win is awesome. It's, it's great. And, and uh, really meant a lot to me. Brian Bearfield. Coach, can you talk about the things that's not going to show up on the stat sheet as far as Jay Sean Tate's hustle tonight? Yeah, I mean, he's everywhere. He's uh, He plays beyond his years. He doesn't play like a rookie. He uh, cuts when he's supposed to cut. He rebounds when he's supposed to rebound. He spaces well. He attacks closeouts. Um, and he's smart really smart, especially on the defensive end. So um, all of those things you don't see in the, in the uh, stat sheet, but, you know, you see that he plays 20-plus minutes because I trust him, and uh, he wouldn't play those minutes if he didn't have that – if he didn't gain that trust. Adam Spallen. Uh, Steven, uh, on possessions where James wasn't running the offense, there were times where he'd be set up in the corner. There'd be times there was one possession where he was on the block and got a bucket that way. When he doesn't have the ball, how important is it for him to be in those areas of the floor where he can really be a threat? Yeah, it's very important, um, you know, because teams are throwing double teams at him. And when he's bringing the ball up the floor, he is the focus of the attention. And with John having the ball and James playing off the ball, but doing stuff so he can get it and go quickly or get a switch and get to his ISO game is uh, important for us. So making sure that he stays aggressive even though he doesn't have the ball is a very big part of what we've got going on offensively. We'll take two more. Ali Kambajani. Uh, Steven, towards the end of the game, we saw James kind of take over. He had 16 in the fourth. How did it feel to be able to watch him um, as somebody on your side um, and help you kind of close out the game as a closer? Yeah, it felt a lot better being on his side than on the other side for years, that's for sure. Um, but he's, a, he's an amazing talent. He can make other players better with his just smarts and, and knowing the angles and uh, get to the free throw line. I thought there were some opportunities that he had that he didn't get the call, but uh, he stayed aggressive and, and shot 11 free throws. And then the threes, I mean, he's – He's the best in the world at those step back threes, and he's one of the best players in the world, period. So um, to, to see it up close and personal and have him do it on the, on the team that I'm coaching is amazing. Last question, Mark Berman. Steve, I don't know if you're a sentimental kind of guy, but will you save anything from this game, being that it's your first win, like that box score in front of you, anything like that? Uh, they gave me the game ball after the game. The team gave me the game ball, so I'll keep that, and that'll be one to remember, hopefully one one of many. But, uh, you know, I've kind of coached games prior to this. There's one year I coached a few games, and then there's another year I coached 21 games when Steve Clifford was out. And when I got my wins, they gave me game balls for, for those ones. But um, this one means a lot because this one is actually my <laughs> – my win, and uh, and I'll cherish it for sure. Who who gave you the game ball, Stephen? Uh, John Wall. John Wall. 